just a couple more. Just a couple more bites. Just a couple more, just to make sure I've tried everything and I can log away uh, the textures and the smells and the tastes so mm -hmm. that I will recognize them again in the future. Excellent. Yeah, you go for one of those fruits. There's sort of a tart, juicy feel to it, mm -hmm. which is super nice. Uh, but as you're digging around in this beautiful cylinder, you hear the door open behind you and someone gasps, <gasps> Cricket! No! No! Bad cat! Bad! Bad cat! And the biggest person in the house picks you up uh, and lifts you out of this cylinder. You are covered in sort of this white foam that was on the top of it. And they carry you rather unceremoniously to the place that they typically put you when you have been a bad cat. Dump you in there. Shut the door behind you. Uh, how's Cricket feeling right now? I have several regrets. Oh. But not as many as I think I should, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, <laughs> sounds good. This room, you and this room are friends. Uh, it's a cold one, it's not super well lit. But you've been put in here a lot. Uh, the thing about this room is that today you notice that usually it's it's very dark. It's got like this hard, cold floor and cold walls. But there's just like a sliver of light on the far wall. This big door that goes up and down, which usually is down, is up just enough. Just enough. And you can smell sort of the, the rain, snow, sleet coming from outside and fresh leaves as they fall off the tree and, you know, die on the ground. And of course, all those sounds, cars, people. Um, it is pretty adjacent to her last, uh, bad cat moment, but it's so tempting. It's so tempting. I don't think I even need to roll for bad cat, but I would like to point out that it takes her several minutes to make her way to the door to smell, just to smell the door, just to look at the door, just to see the crack. And then she would like very much to know if a rather curious kitten could perhaps fit through the crack in the door. Oh, a kitten could absolutely fit through this crack. Then I believe one does. <laughs> All right, Cricket, you head out into the big wide world. It's not a place you get to be often and it's never a place you've gotten to be alone. 